hello guys welcome to our channel and today's our topic of discussion is inventory management system and in this example we will learn about how much stock we have to order and how much stock we have sold and what is the current status of this stock and if our stock uh, got to the limited uh, position or our stock uh, has insufficient uh, quantity so how we will know about so here you can see we have made three uh, portions and our first portion is stock inward report in stock inward report uh, we just uh, write the orders uh, we have took and how much order we have taken and how much quantity we have in our stock or in our uh, warehouse go down or you you can see uh, in our custody and how much stock we have sold it is written here in the stock out outward report and the last one is new stock report basically it is the status of the stock like uh, how much stock we have remain and what we have uh, to order if uh, the stock uh, below the limited criteria and here you can see the quantity for example uh, here you can see on 1st april 2021 we have placed an order of uh, 100 uh, banana and uh, in this you can see uh, in 3 april 2021 our 98 quantity of banana has been sold so it generates a report which means the remaining quantity is 2 and here you can see it uh, prompt and message like uh, order now because the criteria minimum is uh, below 6 if our quantity is below 6 then it generates an uh, message which is order now and here you can see the peach here 25 so it is not generating order because it has sufficient amount and we don't need to place any order so how can we make this type of example so I just go here and here uh, we will work on this example so you can see uh, three portions first one is stock inventory second one is stock output report uh, and in the status report so first suppose if I just uh, place an order and here you can see the product in the product you can see the list and in the list I want the banana and the quantity of banana should be 50 so here you can see the product first like uh, here you can see I don't need to uh, place any uh, or I don't need to write any amount because we have already the number of list given here and suppose if I just write here apple then it will accept the value because the apple is in our list and first suppose if I just write here uh, pineapple then you can see it generates an error because the pineapple is not in our product list so how can you do this type of list it is basically called the data validation so how data validation works I already made this but uh, for the sake of understanding how I just give you a uh, you have to just click on the cell in which you want to create a list now you have to go here in the tabs and in the tabs you have to go here in data and in data tab you can see the data validation you have to click here and in this you can see the data validation function and if you click on it you can see uh, a box appear in the box you have to just first select uh, and in this you have to first select the list now in the list you can see the source box so in the source box you have to just erase and you have to just write the uh, list of the products in which you are dealing so I just write here and press here ok so if I just drag it down so it only generates the products which we are dealing you have to just drag it down I just drag it down so the same function will be applied to everyone I also uh, use the same function you have to just use here the same function I already used it so I just first come up over an example like an apple and in this you can see the apple now if I just sold or sell the apple or like uh, apple of quantity of 40 then how you get the result 
So you have to just write here sum if function, then you will get the total result. So how the sum if function works, you have to just write here equals to sum if bracket open. Now it says the range. So you have to give the product range comma and before the giving the comma you have to write here the dollar sign for each to make it constant otherwise it will give you the wrong data now it says the criteria for giving the criteria criteria means the uh, product uh, in which we want our result so we want the result of our product apple and the apple is in the cell of j4 so you have to just write here j4 comma now it says sum range so basically we want to calculate the sum range so you have to just select here and you have to close it and with the close you have to again uh, use the dollar sign for each cell this is our inward complete now basically we want the result of inward subtract outward means we want the result of how much we have ordered then subtract it how much we have sold and remaining so getting these uh, remaining so we just need to subtract it so how we subtract it we have to just uh, use um, subtract and again we have to use some if function for this outward so what it says it says range so we just again select the same range comma and before selecting the range we have to use the dollar function and we have to just use the dollar function and in then we have to use uh, the product which is our j4 then comma now it says to some range so our sum range is written here and then bracket close and in this we have to again use the dollar sign so you have to just use the dollar and here the dollar dollar and again dollar then you have to just press here ok now it says 10 you have to just drag it down and it says 0 and in the last one you have to just write here place order so we have to just uh, need to make a criteria like if our quantity is below 6 which means up to 5 then it will generate uh, a message like place order so how it uh, can generate you have to just use a formula like equals to if bracket open if our cell which is k for less than six which means up to five it will generate a message like order now else it will generate nothing you have to just close the bracket and you have to just drag it down for everyone like it says order now because there is zero here so how this function works you can see here first you have to just write the date and apple and we just ordered the quantity 50 now in our stock we have 50 uh, apple now on 2 april we have sold uh, 40 apples so in remaining our stock is 10 and it's just not generating any error because uh, it is uh, above our limited criteria so for suppose if on the same date we have placed an other order of an apple which is up to uh, seven so our remaining stock will be three and if our remaining stock three it generates an error or it generates a message like order now this is very simple so just uh, we for the sake of the test of our ex uh, example or test of our formula we just copy i just copy the form uh, trades and use our different products like apple banana and crabs and peach again crabs then banana and then mango and then uh, i also write the quantity like 40 quantity place i also place the order of uh, crabs and 30 uh, again 40 and 
50 banana and 30 and in this I just copy here and select the different uh, of our uh, products like apple and orange crabs mango peach and again uh, crabs so in banana i write uh, 70 and in orange i write place the order of 37 and in crabs we have uh, 50 in mango i just write here 25 and 20 20 in peach i just place the order of uh, 819 and in crabs we have to place four so you can see here like uh, you can see the total uh, stock we have sold and how much our total stock remains uh, like here in apple we have three apple uh, or three quantity remains so it generates a, a, a message of order now and in orange we have three so it again generate a message and in the remaining it doesn't show any message because we have even the uh, sufficient amount of our products which we can deal so uh, it generates a message it means we have to first order an apple so i just made the order of apple and in this order i just want the quantity 10 so here you can see we have the limited amount of apple now it says you have to order the oranges so i again a place an order of oranges so you have to just go here in orange and you have to just place here like 20 so here you can see it also remove the message this is how uh, you can get the ben benefit of this type of example like you have to just understand uh, how much products you have left and if the product is below your limited uh, stock then it will generate a message and with the help of this message you can place an another order this is how our whole example works in this example you can get the better uh, idea about how much product uh, or how much which specific product is frequently being used and how much more uh, quantity is in demand and what the consumers are uh, wants in the uh, product and how much you have to frequently place an order and which amount of a quantity is much more in your stock and it needs to be sold so this is all our example completed and if you face any confusion you in this example you can write in our comment section and please share and support our channel so that we can produce further videos on it thank you so much